Swifties are solving puzzles to learn more about Taylor's next album and her love life. 98 Degrees says NSYNC stole their thunder. We learned five things about Maya and Rosalia. And we've got a Latin Music Week update straight from Miami. I'm Texas for Billboard News. It's Wednesday, September 20th, and we've got a whole lot of Taylor Swift to talk about. Taylor Swift has a new athletic man, a family member confirms, as she drops her 1989 Taylor's version track list and is seen on the town with Joe Jonas's new ex. Buckle up, Swifties. We have a lot to unpack today. Oh, look, you did it. You unlocked the 1989 Taylor's version vault. Taylor Swift broke Google yesterday after getting her fan base to decipher 33 million puzzles to reveal the track list of 1989 Taylor's version vault tracks. And I for one know these four songs like Is It Over Now and Suburban Legends will be my entire personality. And Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are headed for divorce. And Taylor knows a thing or two about being Joe's ex. The two ladies were spotted around New York City on a girl's night out. But Taylor might not be single. It's been rumored she's dating Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey. She was even seen wearing an opal, which is his birthstone. And Travis's brother made it less of a rumor on 94 WIP Sports Radio. I think they're doing great, and I think it's all 100% true, and I hope that this soon goes a mile down, Joe. I don't really know what's happening. Wow. Good for them. (laughs) Say what? Taylor always keeps us on our feet. I just want my girl happy, and I care more about who's featured on 1989. Just tell us already. And Taylor's the perfect segue even into our next story. While everyone else was a version of Taylor Swift seeing NSYNC reunite at the VMAs, it seems some may not be as excited for the boy band's reunion. Or are they? The guys of 98 Degrees, who are currently on their 25th anniversary tour, stopped by Andy Cohen's SiriusXM show to share their feelings about NSYNC's reunion and rumors of a potential tour. Nick jokingly said NSYNC stole their thunder before the other members shared in everyone's excitement. Yeah, when when one succeeds, we kind of all succeed. We know, obviously, them well at this point and, and excited for, you know, excited for the fact that they're hopefully gonna do this. Now it's time to learn some more about one of the biggest Spanish speaking artists in the world. Here's five things with Rosalia. Me llamo Rosalia y estas son cinco cosas que la gente no sabe de mí. Número uno, que toda la vida mi madre ha llevado moto y yo desde muy pequeña conducía motos y de hecho hacía trial y de todo por la montaña, para arriba, para abajo y de todo. Número dos, que aún sigo utilizando agenda física de papel. Mm, si no me apunto las cosas ahí, es como que no van a pasar. La tecnología yo aún no, no, me, no he cedido. Mm, sigo con las agendas escritas. Número tres, mi comida favorita es el fufu y el gusisu. Número cuatro, No sé si alguna gente puede ser que lo sepa, pero cuando empecé en la música yo cantaba en restaurantes, en bodas, comuniones, eh, en todos los sitios, bares donde me llamaran, yo ahí que iba y cantaba. Y eso me ayudó mucho a a ser la artista que yo soy hoy en día. Número 5, cuando tengo tiempo libre me encanta mirar películas y me gusta también Keeping it caliente, Latin Music Week is fast approaching, and Billboard is already in Miami to share some special details. Billboard's Latin Music Week returns to Miami on October 2nd, and thanks to some major music stars, we can share what to expect at this year's celebration. Well, first of all, I'm very happy to be in the Latin Music Week. Uh, week, sorry. With the help of Fonseca and Miami's mayor, Dan Gelber. From October 2nd to 6th, we will be the center of the Latin music world. Billboard announced some of the huge events going on at Latin Music Week. We have a show spectacular. We have done carreras separadas, eh, Grace and I. But, digamos que se nos hace eh, muy hermoso el hecho de poder compartir canciones juntos. Like performances from Mike Bahia and Vanessi. Es un placer para mí estar aquí por primera vez en los Billboard Latin Music Week. 
plus a special fundraiser for Carol G's Concorda Foundation. This is in addition to the previously announced lineup of Shakira, Arcangel, Peso Pluma, RBD, and so many more. The week-long event will feature an expansive programming lineup with one-of-a-kind performances, exclusive premieres, can't-miss panel conversations, workshops, showcases, and networking opportunities with some of the biggest names in Latin music. And it's all going down in Miami October 2nd to the 6th. Tickets are still available at the link provided. Before I let you go, we've got five more things to learn about one of your faves. This time, it's Maya. Hey, it's Maya, and here are five things you don't know about me. First job, first hustle, graffiti art, insomniac. I do my makeup very well. I love doing makeup. I did my hair today. Aren't you proud of me? The last thing you don't know about me, I can throw it down in the kitchen. Signature dish is vegan crab cakes. Yes. And those are five things you didn't know about me. That is the show. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see which icon graces the next cover of Billboard. And we take a look back at one of Mariah Carey's biggest achievements. I'm Tetris Kelly, and this is Billboard News.